The views and opinions expressed by the host do not necessarily state or reflect those of the company in its management. Furthermore, the views and opinions of the guests do not reflect those of the host, the show, the management, and the network. Get the best deals on non-life insurance with the most protection and coverage. In Suros, insurance services helps identify your needs and risks, procures the agreed insurance program on your behalf, assists you from claims filing to settlement, conducts policy audit and reminder, and provide cost-effective insurance products like property insurance, comprehensive motor car insurance, marine insurance, construction bond and more. Insuros Insurance Services is partnered with some of the country's best and most reliable insurance companies, giving retail and corporate policyholders the quality service and best insurance recommendation. At Insuros Insurance Services, we guarantee quality and safety. Check out our insurance services now. Hi, my name is Albert Edge Ehe, a certified public accountant. Watch out to my Business 101 on Talk Life channel. It's all about your business, taxation, compliance, and more. Don't miss this opportunity because Edge your business, Edge your advantage. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Business 101. Once again, this is your Kuya Edge, your online accounting and business consultant, giving you the right information and the most updated way or method in doing business in the Philippines. So again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day sa inyong lahat. So we are live now at Talk Live YouTube and Facebook page and to my Edge YouTube channel. So our viewers right now is coming from a different time zone. So meaning we have a viewers coming from the Luzon, the Visayas, and the Mindanao, and even outside the Philippines. So uh, hello sa inyong lahat sa ating viewers and maraming 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 salamat sa panonood ninyo ng Business 101. Let us continue to watch Business 101 every Friday. Lagi po nating tandaan, every Friday at 6 o'clock p.m. So last week, we discuss what are the mandatory BIR compliance and this time we will discuss on how to bookkeep or accounting our business. So maraming ang salamat to so, Sir Joseph Asi sa pagtulong niya sa atin on how to discuss yung ating mga BIR compliance. So last week nga, dinuscuss niya paano ba natin makikita yung mga dapat natin i-file or uh, i-comply sa BIR. So makikita natin yan sa ating BIR registration which is sa BIR form 2303. So doon sa tax type portions, doon mo makikita kung ikaw ba ay VAT or a non-VAT registered entity and kung kailangan mo mag-file ng uh, 1601C o yung withholding tax compensations or the withholding tax expanded. So ayan, so thank you very much again sa uh, ating guest visitor last week to Sir Joseph Asi. And I am so happy and excited for our guest visitors today to help us kung paano ba ang mag-accounting ng ating business and paano ba natin ito mapapadali pero sa tamang pamamaraan. So okay, di ba? Uh, normally sa ating manual bookkeeping, ang ginagawa natin is we collate all the documents of our uh, business o lahat ng mga resibo, uh, kinukuha natin and uh, fina-file natin yan. And then all that receipt, uh, we will uh, encode it uh, in an Excel uh, to get a reports. Okay. And then eventually after that get the reports, uh, we will uh, uh, manually uh, write in the books of account. 
all those uh, recibo, uh, they have a res uh, receipt or not. Uh, like for example, uh, the payroll, that there, there is no uh, receipt. So you will use the voucher. Okay. And at the same time, uh, the reports of uh, SLSP, or yun nang tiyatawag na summer list of alpha list, uh, summer list of sales and purchases, you need to include it to uh, BIR uh, system, as well as the alpha list. So basically, yan ang ginagawa natin for our manual bookkeeping. Diba? But this time, uh, our guest speaker will help us on how to do that uh, manual bookkeeping to make it easier for you and para maging tama-tama din po yung ating mga pinaparal sa BIR. So ayan, so I hope na you are also excited like me para ipapakilala ko na sa inyo yung ating guest visitor. So, he is a duly registered certified public accountant with over 30 years of accounting, audit, and taxation experience, both from the academic and the actual business practice. He worked in areas of business consulting, operations management, general accounting, taxation, sales and financial analysis, information system analysis, auditing, research, and educational administration. A CPA with accredited or accreditations with both the Philippine Board of Accountancy or the BOA and the Philippines Bureau of Internal Revenue or the BIR. A former school dean of Ateneo de Davao University under the School of Business and Governance and the College Dean of the College of the Holy Spirit, Manila. So, grabe. So, a business and tax consultant under Dr. John Laxon and Company a professional partnership in Quezon City and with a concurrently responsibility as principal tax services with a law firm of Losenario, Domingo, and Drumbawa in Quezon City and as the chief finance officers of Asset Pool A Incorporated in City of Makati. Okay, so he is graduated as a doctor of business administration as well as a master's in business administrations in Ateneo de Davao University and a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in accounting minor in Philippine taxation. Let us all welcome Dr. John Laxon. Hi, Hi Albert. Thank you for that uh, introduction. Masyado man namang <laughs> in highlight Anyway, thank you very much for inviting me sa yung business 101 uh, i hope i can answer all your questions <laughs> Sige. so thank you also sir for accepting my invitations to, to be part of this show i know yeah. that your knowledge and expertise will give our viewers around the world some inputs that may use for their business so magandang gabi po sa inyo sir magandang, yeah, magandang gabi, gabi po. sa inyo lahat yes uh, Sir, so you're coming from uh, Davao City or are you are in Quezon City right yeah. now? Uh, I am from Davao City, currently uh, residing in Quezon City. Uh, I've been in Manila or Metro Manila for 10 years now. Uh, kaya parang nag-establish na rin ako dito sa, sa Quezon City. So, uh, you are in Quezon City now, right now, sir? Yes, Quezon City. Okay. So, bali, sir, uh, uh, gano'n kayo katagal nag-serve doon sa as Dean of College of Ateneo de Davao University? Yeah. I I worked in at, uh, in Ateneo for about 30 years. Wow. So, I started as a teacher. Tapos, uh, in due time, I uh, was promoted to become an uh, accountancy program director, naging chairman, hanggang naabot ko yung deanship uh, ng Ateneo de Davao. And after my term as dean, kasi in Ateneo we have limited term for deanship, I was invited to become the dean of the College of Holy Spirit Manila under the residency of Dr. Pilina Yang. So I served there for about uh, three years also uh, as dean. And after that, nag-full-time ano na nag, nag consultancy na ako. 
Wow. Pero while I was teaching, while I was dean, I still have my consultancy, accounting consultancy, and bookkeeping, no? bookkeeping, accountancy, consultancy. So concurrent yun. Pero nung after my retirement from the College of Holy Spirit, nag-full time na ako sa business consultancy. So so grabe pala talaga sir yung ano yung, yung experience with regards to accounting kasi you said that uh, 30 years in Ateneo de Davao as a dean and as well as you have an existing accounting and auditing firm. Yes. Uh-huh. Tapos uh, you are also concurrently responsibility as a tax practitioner or a tax consultant in a law firm. Tama po Yes. Ba? Uh-huh. So wow. I am helping them sa kanila mga corporate cases. Uh, limited yung, yung sa akin, yung sa accounting, no? kasi marami tayong mga corporate cases, especially tax cases. So, I am helping them to to support their mga mga petitions, motions, anything that they need to ex- explain sa accounting. So, yun. So, may mga kaso tayo mga tinutulungan. <laughs> so, Sir, uh, you meaning talaga you are also a helping uh, mga businesses in doing or in their tax cases. So, uh, uh, marami, marami ba sir tayong mga ano, mga client na ganyan, yung mga tax cases? Uh, y- y- yung law firm, maraming client sila. Uh, I am helping them to formulate yung kanila mga defense. Kaya I, I do the accounting portion for them. Yeah, so, medyo, medyo ano rin, medyo mabigat din kasi, di ba, pagdating na sa cases, you have to be very detailed and you have to present everything. Kasi ano na yan eh, i-scrutinize na ng, ng mga lawyers at saka ng mga judges. So, ayan, sa ating mga viewers, uh, tama-tama, Dr. John Laxon, as ano, an expert, also an tax expert with regards to... Uh, uh, mga tax cases. So, so mga viewers natin dyan, uh, you can, pwede yung tawagan si Sir Dr. John Laxon para sa mga ganyang cases. Also, yung yes. uh, law firm na partner nila. So, yes. ayan. Uh, uh, sir, uh, how about your hobby, sir? Uh, given na uh, you are already uh, retired at the academy and you are now in those sort of How about your hobby? Sports or uh, yeah. ano yung ginagawa mo ngayon, sir? Uh, given this pandemic. <laughs> Nung bata pa ako, I'm very active physically, no? Uh, I go out, I play uh, volleyball, badminton, and I do swim. Nung bata-bata pa tayo. Wow. Pero ngayon, no? Uh, before the pandemic, ano na lang, walking-walking na lang. <laughs> but ngayon pandemic, uh, because uh, nobody's allowed to go out, especially yung mga kasi edad ko, uh, I stay at home. Doon na lang, simple exercise. And then, uh, pastime ko talaga is to watch movie <laughs> sa Netflix. <laughs> sa Netflix. So, nau- nauubos ko yung mga pelikula sa Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, uh, yun ang pinaka-pastime. Aside from dito sa office, siyempre, supervising the work of my staff. So, yun ang pinaka-pastime ko ngayon. Bawal kasi lumabas eh, di ba? Ako, mahilig ako mamasyal eh. I want to go out uh, molly. Uh, yun ang pinaka-form of exercise ko, maglakad sa loob ng mall. <laughs> <laughs> so, hindi, naman ako, ba- hindi naman ako bumibili, hindi naman ako bumibili. So, Just, sa subdivision uh, mo, sir, wala ba tayong ano, area for walking sa... Meron naman, pero it's a small subdivision, kaya... Yeah, simple ano. Pero ngayon, di ba, tag-ulan. <laughs> Kaya uso ang sipon at uh, ubo ngayon. How about yeah, vaccine, sir? At home. How about ah, vaccine? Okay na ako niyan. Tapos okay na ako. Na. So, uh, well-protected na talaga tayo. So, uh, uh, sa mga family ko, okay na rin. Except for the kids na wala pang available vaccine for kids. Uh, I have four kids, by the way. Mm. Wow. So ayun, uh, given talaga si Sir, uh, si Dr. John Naxon talaga is uh, also a swimmer before and right now, wala na talaga because of this pandemic, we just are uh, walking and walking. Uh-huh. So, Sir, uh, before we we continue and before we go to our uh, main topic, uh, I would like uh, to thank Sir for uh, giving again for this opportunity, for this uh, 
uh, na makasama natin si Tonton Tonyang Lasson. But before that, let's have a break. Yeah. Get the best deals on non-life insurance with the most protection and coverage. In Suros, insurance services helps identify your needs and risks, procures the agreed insurance program on your behalf, assists you from claims filing to settlement, conducts policy audit and reminder, and provide cost-effective insurance products like property insurance, comprehensive motor car insurance, marine insurance, construction bond and more. Insuros Insurance Services is partnered with some of the country's best and most reliable insurance companies, giving retail and corporate policyholders the quality service and best insurance recommendation. At Insuros Insurance Services, we guarantee quality and safety. Check out our insurance services now. Again to Business 101 and welcome, Sir uh, John Lacson, for this episode. So, Sir, uh, I heard kanina that uh, marami po kayo mga uh, clients, mga micro and small medium enterprise na mga businesses and also you serve as a tax expert and a tax uh, expert para sa mga clients nyo. Sir, uh, kasi nga po, Sir, uh, Business 101 talaga is basically ang focus niya is the MSMEs. Yes, so, uh-huh. yan talaga yung ating tinutulungan kasi I always saying that uh, yung mga big companies naman talaga, they are hard they have also an expert, they are also okay. hard uh, talaga uh-huh. yung mga uh, bigate ng mga accountant talaga and uh, wala na tayong problema dyan. But uh, uh-huh. as our advocacy is to help the MSMEs, so sir, uh, may questions lang ako sir. So, Uh, how do you handle your client, uh, especially the bookkeeping services? Okay. And what are those problems that you encounter or difficulties in complying with the BIR? Okay. Pareho tayo, Albert. No? My accounting firm is really focused on SMEs, no? yung small medium enterprises, kasali na yung small entities. Meron din ako mga micro entities, yung mga, mga tsangge-tsangge. No? So, yun ang talagang focus ng ating tinutulungan Kasi as you have said, mahirap kumuha ng large uh, clients ngayon Because nandun na sila sa malalaking accounting firm So, ang focus talaga natin is how to help SME So, yun din ang aking ano, client base natin uh, Hindi naman maharami Baka sabihin ng tao, dami akong client uh, Tama-tama lang na I can serve uh, a few of them Uh, trying to help them kasi sila talaga yung may problema sa accounting. ba? Diba? Uh, may problema sa taxation. And most of them are experiencing problems in registration, problems in bookkeeping, problems in how to compute for their taxes. Talagang ang problema kasi most of our entrepreneurs naman are not accounting graduates or do not have accounting knowledge. Kaya doon tayo pumapasok, no? gusto natin tulungan sila and to achieve their uh, business success. Kaya tinutulungan natin sila. Uh, talaga ang problema nila is record keeping. Record keeping, huh? sir. So, <laughs> Oo. Kasi oh. una-una, uh, yung filing, nako, ano-ano lang yung mga resibo nila, kung ano, takatambak lang sa isang karton, o nasa isang plastic envelope. Yes. So, yun ang pinaka-problema ng mga entrepreneurs kasi basta nabayaran na nila, tambak na, without really thinking of the consequences sa uh, ating taxation. Na dapat kinatago nila yung mga resibong yan pa, kasi makakatulong yan as a deduction, di ba? As operating expenses. So, sir, um, how, how do you bookkeep or pa, paano ina-accounting yung ganong sistema, sir? Uh, di ba, sir, uh, you mean, uh, are, you, are you using a manual bookkeeping or using a, 
system, something yeah. like that, uh, oh. para mas mapadali yung ano, accounting of that uh, yeah. SMEs. Nowadays, you have to use technology. Hindi na pwede yung manual. Ako, mabuburo ka sa dami ng transaction. Kaya talagang uh, we need to get uh, an accounting software. Kami, we are using one accounting software locally developed. Uh, kaya so, maganda so, na nakokompile lahat yung mga resibo, na-encode sa system, para yun na, meron ka na kagad report. Ano ba, uh, ano ba sir yung advantage? Kasi di ba previously, ang ginagawa natin is the manual bookkeeping. So ito yung, uh, ano, ito yung sinusulat natin sa books of account, uh, and then uh, we encode first, and then we uh, may report, and then after that, we will make a... Uh, Ayun nga, ito sa box of accounts. And uh -oh. uh, what is uh, the difference between the two, uh, given na sabi mo nga, sir, you're using uh, one accounting system. system right uh -oh. now? Yes. Uh, with the volume of transactions that business has nowadays, nako, magkakakalyo yung kamay mo sa kakasulat sa, <laughs> sa box of accounts, di ba? Sa dami na mga resibo. Kaya ang advantage ang advantage talaga ng with a system is you simply encode the receipt one time sa basis lang and then let the the magic of computers do the work for you. Kaya maganda meron kang accounting system. Pero dapat piliin may accounting system na babagay sa negosyo mo. Hindi yan basta hindi katulad ng isang cellphone dahil latest model eh bagay na sa iyo. 'Di ba? Kailangan 'yung magiging ano uh, effective and efficient sa iyo ano. Kasi marami tayong accounting software na it does not serve our purpose lalo na sa mga SMEs, no? Kasi masyadong advanced na 'yung ibang accounting software, mahal na, mapapagastos ka, pero <laughs> Will it serve your purpose? Una-una, dapat mo siyang pag-aralang mabuti. Di ba? Yes. Eh, yung mga entrepreneurs, wala namang tayo mag-aral ng sophisticated accounting software. Kailangan nyo simple lang, madaling intindihin, madaling gamitin, at makakaproduce ng kailangan. Yun ang ating objective. So, sir, mm -hmm. uh, so you mean uh, the system that you are using right now is yun nga, sabi mo nga, sir, this is... Uh, user-friendly, madaling yes. gawin, madaling maintindihan, yes. and also nakakapag-produce ng report na kailangan ng yes. clients and kailangan ng BIR. Correct. Oo, oh, tama-tama oh, tama yan. You, you, you told uh, a while ago that uh, maraming system, uh, accounting yes. system na available in the market. And yes. then you told na kailangan talaga na uh, yung fitted to your uh, business yung correct. yung uh, system. system tama sir ah uh, correct so, sir ah eto ba sir system na ginagamit niyo is uh, ano ba yan a foreign ano foreign ah produce, it is locally ano develop? it is locally developed by a group okay. of people in Davao mga kaibigan wow. ko lang din sa Davao so Tinatanong-tanong nung una, tinatanong-tanong lang ako nila paano yung accounting. Uh, pero yung grupo nila meron talagang accountant na gumawa. Uh, uh. So yung accountant na yun, si Mr. Jonathan Tito, he, who is actually my uh, partner in my accounting firm. Okay, so, sir. Sila yung unang nag-develop nung system na yun. To serve, basically, is to serve the clients who are small and medium enterprises. So, wow. So, it means, sir, this is a lo locally ano, developed software. So, it means, oh, oh. That, uh, an ano yan, sir, uh, Philippine settings lang or uh, there is uh, settings then uh, para sa ibang bansa or just uh, solely on a Philippine setting setup? Okay. The, the software is... So really focus on the Philippine market. No? So, 
to address kasi ang problema talaga ng mga entrepreneurs ay ang kanilang taxes. Biro mo parami ng parami ang mga nire-require ni BIR ng mga reports. Dati-dati, wala naman yung mga battery lift na yan, wala yung mga alkalis, basta bayad ka, okay na. no okay. That was a uh, few years back. Pero ngayon, dami. Kasi gusto ni BIR, ma-check talaga kung tama yung pinapile mo. Kaya... Uh, the intention or the objective of this software is to really help SMEs. Wow! Uh, maliliit, so, ano? SME talaga ang focus niya. So meaning, help sir, them. Uh, tamang-tama pala, sir, yan dito sa ating Business 101 kasi yun nga, ah, uh, yes, sir, kaya. ang ating focus is to help the MSMEs and that we come up with that uh, accounting system uh, locally developed by a Filipino and ito nga, taga-dabaw po, and this is dedicated or Philippine settings only. So, yes. uh, I know that the report will be ano, talagang uh, dedicated or talagang fitted para sa mga uh, BIR requirements and other government ano, entity requirements. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sir, uh, can you please, ano, uh, kasi uh, a lot of our viewers is very uh -huh. interested Sige. for that system. Uh, pwede mo ba, sir, uh, ipaliwanag sa amin or ipakita sa amin o oh, that system para at least uh, we have an idea and probably yung ating mga viewers is uh, makita and ma-check din itong uh, accounting system na sinasabi mo sir na uh, user friendly na Philippine settings pa and uh, make a report that uh, BIR required yeah okay sige so let me elaborate ah huh? okay the name of the software is <clears throat> easy journal accounting system kaya for short, we call it EJAS, EC Journal Accounting System. It is locally developed by a group of people from Davao. They call themselves Vantage Point System, Business Solutions pala. Vantage Point Business Solutions. So sila yung nag, uh, gumawa at nag-develop nag nito. The software is now being used nationwide. Wow. No? Marami nang gumagamit na small... SME, nito. it was uh, actually promoted na. Ako, I have been using this for five years na. Kaya wow. malaking tulong nito sa akin. Kasi nag-reduce na ako ng number of staff members in bookkeeping. Dati-dati, pag maraming transaction, di ba, I have one is to one uh, bookkeeper or one is to two ang ratio. Two clients for one staff member. Sa so, mano-mano yon manual. From the books of accounts up to tax compliance. Pero this system, no, one, uh, one staff member ko can do eight to ten uh, clients na at a time. Kaya medyo malaking kaluwagan. And then, para sa staff member, hindi na sila nahihirapan magbalanse kasi <laughs> ano na lang one one entry lang eh one uh, one entry point lang so pag inenter mo sa system automatic na the computer will do its magic and you have your reports anong klase ng mga reports ito kasi the system the EJAS has two modules one is for the bookkeeping the second one is for taxation. Pero wala kang gagawin para sa taxation. Kasi automatic na siya. Di ba? So meaning, sir, meaning, sir, wala nang gagawin sa taxation? So wala uh, na. Uh, so, what do you mean na wala nang gagawin? Uh, the report uh, ex itself is the one you, ano, you, uh, you submit uh, to the yes. BIR? Kung ano yung nakikita mo sa BIR report, yun na yung makikita mo dun sa system ng EJAS. Wow! Okay, connected na siya. Except for one or two because, kunwari, one, walang payroll yung EJAS eh. That's a separate uh, payroll software. System. So, yung entry mo sa payroll, eh, dadagdag mo syempre. Pero sa voucher mo na yun, makikita. So, pangalawa, inventory because it is not an inventory module. So, yung total ng inventory mo, yun na lang din ang i-encode mo. Aside from that, no, isang pindot, you have your reports na. Anong reports ito? 
Ako, di ba? Ang dami-dami reports si BIR. Meron tayong monthly withholding sa, uh, sa expanded. Meron tayong quarterly uh, expanded withholding. Meron tayong BAT monthly, quarterly BAT. Tapos meron tayong mga uh, alpalis, the monthly alpalis na tinatawag nating MAP. Meron tayong quarterly alpalis na tinatawag nating ano. Tapos meron pa tayong CWT, yung creditable withholding tax. It can produce all these reports. Diba? Aside from the usual books of accounts na meron, meron tayong sales uh, book, meron tayong disbursement book, the ledger, the general journal. Diba? Kompleto siya. Wala nang gagawin yung bookkeeper except to encode. Yun nga lang, dapat mag-ingat tayo kung ano yung ini-encode natin. <laughs> Siyempre, wrong entry, wrong uh, output din yan siya. Pero ang kagandahan nito, pag nag-entry ka, tatanungin ka ba kung bat ka o hindi. So, it's all about looking at the source document. Titignan mo na lang kung bat siya o hindi. Tapos, tatanungin ka rin kung may withholding o wala. Tapos pipiliin mo na lang from the drop-down, anong class ng withholding sinacharge mo? Sinacharge mo ba sa withholding ng rent? Sinacharge mo ba sa withholding ng janitorial services? So you can choose. Di ba? Ang dali na. And it will provide you the reports needed. Makokompile na yung ilan yung withholding na binayaran mo for rent. Ilan na yung withholding na binayaran mo for janitorial. Kasi we are using the ATC code ni BIR. Diba? Now, so, so meaning sir, ano, parang uh, yun nga siya sabi nyo kanina sir, is this is a user-friendly. So, uh, Very user-friendly, ano you can learn this mo, in 10 minutes. Kung ano yung in-input mo sir, yun na yung magiging reports. Kaya very critical talaga sa mga system talaga, very critical yung ano yung encoding. Kasi okay, yes, what, what so. is your input, yun din magiging report. So meaning Pare. sir, uh, diba drop down na lang yung mga kailangan natin. Yes, oo. Drop down na lang. Kasi pipiliin mo na lang kung uh, bat, uh, bat receipt siya o non-bat, except or zero rated. Pipili ka na lang doon. Doon sa withholding tax naman, lahat ng rates ng, ng BIR, nandun na. Pipiliin mo na lang kung anong, WT, anong code niya. Kung WI100, WC100. WI, di ba? Withholding for individuals. WC, so withholding for corporations. Pipiliin mo na lang doon. Di ba? So, ang pinaka-crucial lang yung, yung sir, encoding. How about, sir, yung ano, yung, yung, ano, yung 2307? It can produce pa ng 2307. Yes, uh, oo. Di ba ito yung binibigay natin doon sa ating client? Uh, mga suppliers. Sa na binilihan. Yes, oo. Pag nag-record ka sa voucher mo na meron kang binayaran, at na encode mo yung proper uh, withholding tax, uh, punta ka lang doon sa tax module and you can print the receipts na. Yun ang ibibigay mo sa sa iyong supplier or sa iyong vendor. So, hindi ka na kailangan maghanap pa ng mga voucher at magta-type separately <laughs> ng okay. ano, di ba? So, it, 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 ano, it helps talaga. At saka siguradong balance eh. Kasi kung na-encode mo ay tamang entry, eh tama na rin yung, yung certificates mo. Yes, sa reports, meron din siyang income statement, meron siyang uh, balance sheet, meron siyang trial balance. Di ba? Uh, isa pang kagandahan nito, eh, may audit trail. Malalaman mo sino nagkamali <laughs> at sino ang nagko-correct. Diba? Malalaman mo sino nag encode So, yung access level, meron tayong ano, meron tayong mas set up natin yan. Sino lang authorized maggawa ng sales, sino lang authorized mag-disbursement para hindi anybody can uh, play around with the system. Because kung sino yung authorized, siya lang pwede. Kasi, ba diba? Not all sales encoder knows naman how to record disbursement. Diba? Kagandahan nito, hindi mo kailangan na accounting graduate na mag encode no? Sir, Simply yun, sir, yung gusto uh, acknowledgement ko lang. Uh, sir, yun yung gusto ko marinig kanina na you mean an uh, even a uh, non-accountant can do the uh, posting of the transactions. Yes. So, encoding, ganun siya kanyang sir-friendly pa na. Very so, user-friendly. User Oo, oh, oh, hmm. kahit na 
yung helper mo sa bahay, basta sa ituturo mo lang, o oh, ito ang ipipindot mo, ito, oh, meron ka na kagad sales report. Medyo crucial lang dun sa expenses kasi nga, di ba, merong BAT at saka withholding component. Yun lang ang medyo babantayan natin. Uh-huh. So, napakaganda at napakasimple ng system. So, ang ayan, kagandahan so... pa nito, teka, ang kagandahan pa nito, hindi mahal yung system. Pwede pang installment. <laughs> so, Kasi marami tayong accounting software ang mamahal. Tapos by uh, subscription base sila, di ba? Yes, sir. Very yes, expensive. Sir. Kaya ito talagang ginawa ito. Uh, not for profit. It is really to help uh, SMEs to Ayun. use so, this system. Grabe Yan talaga ang objective no. ng mga developers nito. So grabe pala sir talaga yung ano yung yung ganda nitong system na ito ng Easy Accounting uh, jour, uh Easy Journal, Journal Accounting, accounting System. system. So uh-huh. grabe, uh, pwede siya sa net accountant, you can do that when you So sa lahat ng mga viewers natin, so take note at yung mga advantage ng system uh-huh. na ito. Ah uh, tandaan niyo po, uh, pwede ang net accountant and uh, napaka user friendly and the reports uh-huh. itself can uh, can make you a file to BIR. So meaning, uh-huh. uh, even the owner, the owner of a small and medium enterprise can do the accounting na because Correct. of that system. Uh-huh. So, may dadagdag ayan, ako, Albert. May dadagdag ako. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Sir, before uh-huh. may dadagdag, sir, yan, before may dadagdag yung uh, additional information na yan, sir, let's have a break muna. Baka sige, nabubuto sige, na okay. ng ating mga viewers. <laughs> okay, sir. Get the best deals on non-life insurance with the most protection and coverage. In Suros, insurance services help identify your needs and risks, procures the agreed insurance program on your behalf, assists you from claims filing to settlement, conducts policy audit and reminder, and provide cost-effective insurance products like property insurance, comprehensive motor car insurance, marine insurance, construction bond, and more. Insuros Insurance Services is partnered with some of the country's best and most reliable insurance companies, giving retail and corporate policyholders the quality service and best insurance recommendation. At Insuros Insurance Services, we guarantee quality and safety. Check out our insurance services now. Welcome back again to Business 101 and We are so happy that uh, we invite Dr. John Laxons and giving that easy journal accounting system na alam naman natin at sinabi niya kanina na uh, this was developed by a local uh, developer and ang settings niya is dedicated only for Philippine taxation settings. And Correct. this is very user-friendly and even a non-accountant can do the accounting with that system. So again, welcome back again, Dr. John Laxons. Yeah, and kanina, you, ano ba yung sinasabi mo na kailangan mo pang ibigay sa ating ano, mga viewers para mas yeah. maintindihan and mas uh, matutunan nila ano ba yung kagandahan ng Easy Journal Accounting System. Sir, uh-huh. ano pa yun? May dadagdag lang ako, Albert. Uh, ang gusto kong sabihin, yung BIA reports natin, hindi na natin kailangan ulitin para gamitin kasi yung BIR system natin, yung Alphalis, yung Battery Leap, ini-encode natin ulit yan eh. Kung meron na tayong accounting system na iba, ini-encode ulit natin kay BIR system. Di ba may sariling system si BIR na mga Alphalis, yung mga data entry nila. Ngayon, hindi mo na kailangan ulitin. So, kung ano yung na-encode mo kay EJAS, na, yun na rin yung i-email mo. You don't need to repeat. Sir, ah, the... uh, uh, given that yan, ah, uh, yung yung, eto sir yung tax relief, di ba? So last uh, last episode kasi with with ano with ah uh, Sir Joseph, sabi nga niya, 
one of one of the requirements ng BIR na nakakalimutan ng marami sa MSMEs is yun nga mag-file or mag-submit ng uh, summary list of sales and purchases o yung tinatawag na SLSP. And uh -huh. you know, that ito nga yung ini-encode kung manual kang gumagawa, ito is ini-encode uh, isa-isa doon sa BIR system na madadownload mo naman doon sa BIR uh, website. Correct. So, yun yun, sir, uh, itong sinasabi mo, sir, with that EJAS or the Easy Journal Accounting System is hindi ka na magre-re-encode. Correct. Kaya so, nakakalimutan ng entrepreneurs yan. Uh -huh. It will be the report of that Easy Journal Accounting System is the one you will send to the IR. Yes. By a click of the uh -huh. system na lang. Alam mo, tama si si Joseph na no? yung last yes, ano mo, last guest mo. Tama siya, laging nakakalimutan ito. Bakit nakakalimutan o sinasadyang kalimutan? Kasi ang dami. Ang dami mong uulitin. I-encode mo per resibo, per TIN, per address, per amount, per bat uh, classification. Uulitin mo yan. Kaya mga entrepreneurs, may oras pa ba silang mag-encode yan? Wala na. Wala na. Kaya with this e one-time encoding lang ng voucher mo, meron ka na kagad report ng bat relief. Yung bat relief natin yan, yung summary release of sales, summary release of purchases. Ang isa pang kagandahan ito, meron pang importation. Yes, sir. Records. Kaya kung ikaw ay maliit na uh, importer or exporter, meron ka na kagad report ng, ng wow. battery release, summary release ng importation. importation. So meaning, so, sir, talagang it's a complete package. No? Talagang pinag-isipan nila vantage point talaga. Ano yung mga kailangan ng isang SME? So yun, sir. So meaning, sir, uh, recap ko lang. So ibig sabihin, sir, uh, once you encode the transactions, uh, one transactions, and you will get the reports, uh, first is you have a balance sheet, the trial balance, and uh, what they call that, the you can also get the reports with uh, VAT returns, yes. the no uh, percentage tax returns, a uh, percentage yes. uh, quarterly percentage tax return. You can get that. Uh, you also get the reports of. Uh, uh, you can also print the reports of two three o seven. Correct. And then you can also get the reports of SL, SLSP and SLI, yung summary list of importations. Correct. You will also get the report yung quarterly alpha list or yung MAP or yung monthly alpha MAP list. MAP and quarter. Okay. Okay, sir. So, I've seen, sir, that uh, parang you're right, sir, that this system is a complete package na. From time you encode, a uh, one-time encode, and you will get all that reports with that system. Yeah. Correct. Correct. And then, yeah, you, lahat and then na. you said, then you said, sir, kanina, that is very cheap. Diba? Oh, and oh. very cheap siya. Oh, and oh. pwede pa rin ang installment. Tama po ba, <laughs> sir? Baka naman magkakas sa akin. Pwede. <laughs> pwede. Pwede installment kasi ma-off man nila yun kapag hindi ka nagbayad. <laughs> Opo. Oh, oh. So, grabe, ah, uh, Ano pa sir, baka meron pa kayo nakalimutan na advantage or uh, benefits uh, na pwede natin makuha dito sa SA Journal uh, System. May backup ito. Tapos number two, you can declare kahit na ilang user ang gusto mo. Kahit lima o walong user. Hindi sila mag-charge ng per, uh, per system, per computer. So, kung small business ka na may kompletong accounting group ng sales, ng disbursement, o tatong tao, pati bookkeeper mo, you can set that, no? So, for a minimal fee, pero yung fee, si Vantage Point na magsasabi, tapos meron silang annual support for upgrading the system. Yun lang so, yan, yan sir, yan yung ano. very important, sir, na tapos din natin malaman. Uh, Meron silang ano, office hours consultation. Yeah, okay. na maganda. You can call them anytime of the day as long as it is a uh, working hours. Uh, sasagutin nila yung problema ninyo about the technology. They will not answer about accounting. Ah. 
they will also answer yung problema sa technology. Pag sa accounting, oh. syempre, yung bookkeeper ang makakasagot na. So given sir, given sir that uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, they have uh, support and uh, yun nga sir, kasi is, ito yung mga questions ng ating mga viewers is uh, papaano, kasi alam naman natin na from time to time dito sa Pilipinas, talagang nagbabago yung mga mga BIR, sa, mga BIR, ano, uh, uh, what they call that, uh, mga BIR uh, percent. Uh, so, for example, uh, ito, recently sir, uh, Diba, from 30% for the corporation, naging 20% and 25%. So, sir, how about the update of that system? Uh, pa- uh, ano mangyayari and ano yung, uh, ano yung uh, uh, pwedeng mabigay ng easy journal accounting system? And also, sir, uh, tanong ko na rin po, may bayad po ba kapag ka nagpa-update tayo? Or uh, so, yeah. something like that, sir. So, si uh, Vantage Point, the group that is preparing EJAS, they have these uh, developers who are always updating the system. Na? So, ngayon meron tayong create law, nagbago yung ating forms, nagbago yung ating rates. So, they are now uh, trying to develop the, the updates. So, pag na-develop na nila, ibibigay na nila yan whoever is using the the system. Uh, may bayad, kung may bayad. Uh, I think kasama na siya dun sa annual uh, maintenance fee na binabayaran ng isang, mm. ng isang ano, taxpayer. So, so meaning sir, hindi kami mamamroblema o hindi mamamroblema yung isang uh, MSMEs na nag-avail ng Easy Journal Accounting System kasi nga uh, one of their problem is yung ano, uh, yung update nga ng no, mga ganyang yeah. mga updates sa ating uh-huh. mga batas. So hindi na kami uh-huh. mag problema kasi the na. it just itself uh-huh. can ano can update their system. Ah uh-huh. ah. Uh, hindi na dapat problema. Wag lang gagawin ni BIR yung ginawa niya last time na nagretroactive effect. Okay. Kasi nagretroactive effect siya, di ba? So natulala kahit na mga CPA natulala na pagpapaano bang gagamitin yung kanyang percentage tax na 3%, di ba? Nagretroactive ng half a year na dapat 1%, kaya nagkaroon ng mga dapat tax credits. Yung iba, hindi na lang pinansin para wala nang problema. So, <laughs> dapat kasi yung batas is progressive. So, kung progressive lang, syempre makakasunod lahat ng mga developers. Pero ngayon, kasi nag-retroactive siya ng anim na buwan, di ba? Eh, syempre, yung mga developers natin matutulala din sa paghabol ng ano. Kaya, uh, na-update naman, pero hindi lang immediate. Uh, so, yun lang ang magiging setback kung sakaling. And uh, that is understandable naman, sir, di ba? Uh, Oo oh, naman, syempre. Oh, at saka yung ano, mabilis yung magpalit, oh, ibig the forms, the BIR forms sometimes, uh, diba, nagpapalit agad sila outright, kakalabas na lang, uh, uh, and then meron ulit ba, panibago. Correct. Oh. Eh, yung BIR nga, bilis-bilis ng version nila, eh, di ba? Yung BIR version nila, bilis-bilis magpalit. So, syempre, yung ating mga developers will uh, alo, ano may yung mga changes kay BIR. Uh, so, ako, I've been using the system for five years so far. Wala naman ako naging problema. Except yung mga minor setback, syempre, na-address naman ng, ng vantage point yun. Uh-uh. So, ayun. Uh, napakaganda ng ating Easy Journal Accounting System na ino-offer ni uh, Dr. John Laxon. So, ito po ay ginagamit na niya for uh, over five years. Sir, uh, last question na lang, sir. And kasi we have a limited time, sir. So last question sir uh, how do you ano how do you rate uh, EJAS or Easy Journal Accounting System uh, with regards to uh, nung before na go, uh, five years ago before that you are using the manual bookkeeping and then right now you are using the accounting system the Easy Journal Accounting yeah. System so uh, ano ba sir yung talagang uh, difference yan and importance yan talaga na natutunan okay. mo sir with regards to update then also yeah. your system yeah. Sa manual and technology-based uh, system, syempre, advantageous yung technology-based system, di ba? Alam na natin lahat yan. Now, but between technology 
between other accounting software, uh, may difference. Kasi yung iba, foreign develop uh, software. So, hindi sila nagko-comply sa Philippine tax laws natin. At saka, wala silang tax module. Bookkeeping, meron. Pero wala. Ganda-ganda. You can keep track of all their uh, transactions. Pero uh, sa atin, objective natin eh, magkabayad tayo ng sapat na at tamang taxes. So, meron tayong Philippine uh, tax module na naka-attach dito sa EJAS na ito. Uh, I have tried before the EJAS, I have tried several uh, softwares kasi nga para sa aking mga client. So, iba-iba na yung mga na subukan kong ano. Pero so far, ito yung nakaka-address na kailangan ng isang SME. Siyempre, pag malaki na yung kumpanya, siyempre, dapat ibang system na rin ang gagapitin nila, di ba? So, pero itong e I can really vouch for SMEs na makakatulong ito sa kanila mga accounting needs. Na mapadali ang encoding, makakomply lahat, ma-avoid ang penalty kasi lagi tayong na ano sa penalty eh, kasi makalimuti ng mga entrepreneurs eh, kasi busy sila sa kanilang negosyo kaya nakakalimutan nila itong isang importanteng bagay ng accounting so, so it just the system will help talaga will help so ayan thank you very much sir uh, Dr. John Laxon so marami pong salamat and ayan sa mga viewers natin uh, Dr. John Laxon offers the easy journal accounting system which is, yun nga sabi niya kanina, is from a manual bookkeeping uh, turn to an accounting system which is napakalaki ng difference. So before, uh, sabi nga niya, uh, marami siyang ini-employed na mga uh, staff uh, for dedicated to ano, uh, MSMEs sa mga client niya. Before kasi one, one or two clients per staff and right now maybe uh, baka mga 5 to 10 clients per stop na yung nagagawa for that ano, accounting system. So, sir, uh, papaano ba yung mga viewers natin? Ha? Papaano ba namin, uh, papaano namin uh, makokontak ikaw, sir, uh, with regards to, to that uh, easy journal accounting system as well as for your services, sir? Uh, can you please, uh, do you have a contact number? And then... Yeah, uh, uh -huh. Uh, my office is located in Quezon City uh, dahil pandemic naman, <laughs> bawal bumisita. You can always uh, email me at dr. dr. Uh, small letter D. dr.jlaxon uh, at gmail.com. Uh, I also have a web page. You can uh, search it. So CPA dash John Lacson, uh, dot com dot ph so and for my cell phone number you can call uh zero nine three two eight four seven one two and i do also have a landline uh seven zero zero one six zero nine three now, uh, I am a user of EJAS. Uh, yung EJAS e is developed by Vantage Point. So, kung magsusubscribe kayo o maglilist kayo ng EJAS, I can connect you with Vantage Point. Para diretso na kayo nag-uusap doon. <laughs> so, ngayon, thank you very much, sir. Uh, John Laxon, so... Uh, Nakashow po sa screen natin yung contact number ni Sir uh, John Laxon para kung meron kayong mga questions, you can uh, email, you can uh, chat, you can uh, text directly to Sir Jackson, uh, Sir Dr. John Laxon. And as well as kung meron namang pwede kayo mag-avail that uh, easy journal accounting system, we can connect you to Dr. John Laxon or directly to ano, uh, Advantage. Uh, Advantage, Advantage Point. Advantage Point. Uh, this is the company name of that Easy Journal Accounting System. Uh, so once again, uh, maraming maraming salamat po, uh, Dr. John Laxon, for this Yeah, time. thank you for the and invitation. I'm very happy and I know that all our viewers can uh, take you uh, wisdom that somehow ito yung kailangan, kailangan uh, nila sa business nila. So if they need help, they can give us a call. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, sir. So again, once again, thank you very much, Dr. John Laxon. And I'm so happy that uh, we uh, offer, Dr. John Laxon offered that Easy Journal Accounting System. So, marami pong salamat. Salamat, salamat, Albert. Again, thank you very much, Dr. John Laxon, sa pagbibigay mo ng uh, wisdoms and knowledge and your expertise on how to bookkeep or accounting our business. And with the help of your accounting system, which is yung Easy Journal Accounting System. So basically, ang Easy Journal Accounting System, it gives you, uh, it help you to do your accounting and to do your filing in the BIR easily. So sabi nga kanina ni Dr. John Laxon, so uh, ang gagawin mo lang is you need to encode all the transactions, all the business transactions o yung mga resibo natin and then the the reports will uh, will come up and then that report will use to your BIR uh, filing. So napakadali na lang talaga nung pag-bookkeep natin at pag-accounting ng ating business. As well as nagbibigay din ito ng reports na kung saan makikita mo naman yung iyong mga balance sheet yung iyong mga income statement and all the uh, bookkeeping so meaning di ba sa manual bookkeeping kung uh, hindi ka naman naka-registered as your your accounting system so you need to uh, you need to make your books of accounts manually so meaning kapag ka, kasi uh, sa books of accounts manually you need to uh, write all your business transactions and uh, the good thing with that with this is a journal accounting system you can register the reports of that easy journal accounting system as a loose leaf filing and then that uh, reports if you print mo lang at the end of the year and ibubuk bind mo siya in hardbound and then we, you will submit that in BIR and hindi ka na magsusulat isa-isa dun sa books of accounts mo so talagang it makes your life easy di ba with that system so again maraming salamat Dr. John Laxon for these inputs sa, para sa ating mga viewers so I hope na yung mga viewers natin right right now is na uh, nakita nila ano ba yung uh, advantage ng having an accounting system na dedicated uh, only for Philippine settings. Okay, so uh, marami ding salamat sa nag-develop nito at sa locally developed yan coming from Davao. So again, thank you very much to all of our viewers and to all our to my guest, uh, Dr. John Laxon. Ayan, so abangan din po natin for our next episode. Uh, next week at 6 o'clock every Friday. So abangan natin, we have a guest naman, uh, mga business ano, uh, success naman sa kanilang mga uh, industry. So our topic is how to become an entrepreneur or yung tinatawag ko na from a full-time empl employee to a full-time entrepreneur. So once again, this is your Kuya Edge, your online and accounting business consultant. Goodbye and good night. God bless us. <music>the best deals on non-life insurance with the most protection and coverage. In Suros, insurance services help identify your needs and risks.
procures the agreed insurance program on your behalf, assists you from claims filing to settlement, conducts policy audit and reminder, and provide cost-effective insurance products like property insurance, comprehensive motor car insurance, marine insurance, construction bond and more. Insuros Insurance Services is partnered with some of the country's best and most reliable insurance companies, giving retail and corporate policyholders the quality service and best insurance recommendation. At Insuros Insurance Services, we guarantee quality and safety. Check out our insurance services now. Hey, hey.